Is it wet? Oh, oh yeah, it's wet. Water. Weirder. Yeah, so we're going to dig here? Oh, yeah. Equally important is knowing how much water they'll find. They know this through careful observation of rainfall and signs like smoke in the air or tracks, which tell them of other people's movements in the area. I've hit the rock. Oh. There it comes. Mm. It's just starting to seep mm. in. Yeah? Be right? be and there is the water. That's what it's all about. And the reason that water's here is that it's seeped off of this landscape when there have been rains, run down the rock into a sort of basin. Of course, this basin is filled in with sand and that protects the water from evaporation by the sun. And that's how you get your water. Okay, just like this, mm. yeah. Just like mm. that. And the grass acts as a sort of filter to keep the particles of soil out of the water. And you end up with something like that. Mind you, given a few minutes, the water will clear itself as the sediment just settles in it. You can't get cleaner water than that. Oh yeah, Wiru. Wiru. Kapi Wiru. Is this the one we're after? But it's in times of severe drought that the Pichinjara are at their most resourceful. This tree is an emergency source of water. It's the desert Karajong and you can use the root to get your water. Now, if you want to identify this tree, it's quite easy because the leaf looks just like an emu's track. The women look for cracks in the ground, which indicate the location of a swollen root. Armed with only a crowbar as a digging stick and a small shovel, Mabel and Rosemary will often spend all day working in the bush in extreme temperatures. Their stamina is incredible. Historically, as in most Aboriginal societies, the women collect the bulk of the food and water. Roots from young desert carajong trees can be roasted and eaten. Oh yeah, it's splashing me in the face. Mm. Yeah. So, that's the root of the desert carajong. You scrape it, and you take those scrapings like this, and then you squeeze them, and there's wow. the life-saving liquid. Wow. <laughs> there. It tastes a bit like raw potato, but there's a lot of water in this root, as you can see. Now, if we were making a journey, we wouldn't peel all of the root like this. We'd just peel it back a little way and scrape down the root to give us enough water for that drink at that time. And then as we went on, we could peel back more and more and more. Fantastic. Brilliant. A lot of digging there, eh? <laughs>